What a crock of Hey everyone, it's me, Chart Girl One, and I am back with another video. If you are subscribed to my channel already, you are probably anticipating anti MLM content as it is typically the content that I provide. Today's video is going to be different. I have been trying to expand my channel a little bit. If you are here for the anti MLM content, please don't unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe. I promise you it's still a priority. And actually at the end of this video, you will have an opportunity to win one of the boxes I'm opening today, as well as a $50 gift card to Bath and Body Works. I mean, I guess if you're not even interested in this video, just like go to the end. Just go to the end to figure out how to enter the giveaway. <laughs> I wanted to do a giveaway even though I haven't hit a milestone subscriber count. I haven't hit a milestone follower count on Instagram either. Even though, again, I'm still at the new stages of you know, being on YouTube and I'm still like trying to figure all this out. I thought it would be a really great way to reward those who have just been here since the beginning. You also might be here if you're just in the Bath and Body Works community in general. Okay, so what is today's video? Today's video is I bought it so that you don't have to. I really enjoy watching these types of videos on YouTube because it saves me some money um, or actually it can do the opposite. Sometimes I'm like, that's so amazing. I have to have it, right? I bought the bootleg knockoff version of the witch hand pedestal candle holder thingy from Bath and Body Works that everyone really, really wanted and couldn't get their hands on. On June 26th, Bath and Body Works announced their Halloween collection for 2021. In that collection was the witch hand candle holder, which is admittedly so cute. By the time I had even heard of this candle holder, it had already been released and sold out, but it did retail for $40, which I don't know I would have paid to begin with. Because of how quickly it sold out, Bath & Body Works was met with like insane backlash. If you are in the Bath & Body Works community, I am scared of you. You all are crazy, wild, yeah, your, your grievances though, they were valid, 110%, they were valid. Not just because these sold out, but it looked like there were a lot of reviews saying that the this product, which again was $40, was very fragile, and a lot of the fingers were breaking off on the candle holder. This was the initial posting for the witch candle holder. When I first saw this, the reviews were horrendous. You can see that they still are. But at one point, Bath & Body Works actually removed this completely from their website, probably to stop people from leaving such nasty reviews. I do just want to read some of the negative reviews. Shame on you, Bath & Body Works, for packing my very hard to get items poorly. Two just thrown in a box, no padding or bubble wrap. Both received with broken finger on each. Y'all need to do better. I never rate things low, but have to with this. The ring finger was snapped and had blue all over it from bouncing along the inside of the box. I have no clue what the condition of the rest of the piece is. I'm too tired to unwrap it. It's not that it wasn't boxed well. It was, the hand should have been tested prior to, okay, whatever, etc. Basically, they hated it, it broke. So in addition to the product selling out and being poorly made, there were also a lot of reviews talking about the website glitching, just like this one, where a customer says that they saw the hand online and bought it. The order was confirmed. 26 hours later, it was canceled. When you have so many people trying to buy a product, which there isn't very many in stock, the website is bound to glitch. And this person says that she got it, but it came broken in two pieces and the middle finger was also broken off. Another critique that I saw in these reviews was the accusations that Bath & Body Works employees themselves were buying these and then reselling them. I, I don't think that that's a stretch to say. I've worked in retail for a really long time. I've worked in cosmetics for a long time. I know that there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are high demand. And while management can try to, you know, suppress the amount of products that get released to retail employees that intend to resell, it can be difficult. And of course, there will be those people that aren't ethical and will do it anyway. That being said, I do think people that work in retail are severely underpaid and that could be a reason for them looking to make an extra quick 
buck. That's a whole nother tangent that I won't go into. This is a coveted Halloween item. It is unusual. I don't normally go for these kinds of things, blah, blah, blah. Went to my local Bath and Body Works and looked for a loan saying I was looking for this witch's hand. Sales associate said, yes, it's popular. They are going for three times retail on Mercari. I told him I was not buying to resell. I just wanted it to hold my Bath and Body Works Halloween single wicks. He felt sorry for me and offered to sell me one of his for retail. He said he can buy more when they get another shipment, but that was such a turnoff, I declined. But it is true, employees can buy anything they want before offering to customers. It is so unethical and anti-good customer relations. Normally, a retailer would not allow employees to buy limited items until a certain amount of time has elapsed. Shame on you, Bath & Body Works. This is terrible for your retail image. This one was one of my favorites. What a crock of First off, I never write reviews, but I have to join my Bath & Body Works sisters and misters on this one. I have spent the last five days of my life trying to purchase the Halloween collection that is from the pick. Pretty well done. Specifically, the witch hand and the headless madame. Forget it. Bath & Body Works, you have lost loyal customers from all of this. You are releasing re-releasing, frantically putting out merchandise in a mythical cart. You will receive an email that your order is canceled and then see it posted for sale later that day and sold out in two minutes if you are lucky to add it to your cart. You're betting on a lost cause. The only place they are actually for sale are at resale sites like eBay for triple the amount. The biggest crock of that I have ever encountered with a retail. The stress and frustration of trying to even get the fair chance to buy the item is not worth it and incredibly ironic. I'd rather cast a spell on you, Bath & Body Works, than buy your spell collection. You owe more than an explanation to customers that you have had for years. While I do think that that is an overreaction, I won't judge this person because even for myself, there are things going on in my life and sometimes Something like that can be the straw that breaks the camel's back and you just lose it. It's not about the candle holder at all. It's about everything else that's going on in life. I was really hearing how coveted these candle holders were and I was like, this has to show up on Amazon. It just has to. As I would remember about the witch hand candle holder, I would just kind of search for it on Amazon and see if it would pop up. And it did. When it popped up, there were no reviews. There were no pictures. The pictures that they were using were of the actual Bath & Body Works candles. So they didn't have pictures of the replica that they were selling. It wasn't available on Prime and it was coming all the way from China. So I knew it was going to take weeks to get here, which it did. And it could really be hit or miss, right? Like it could look really great or it could look really bad. Weeks went on and I was waiting for my own candle holder. Reviews were starting to pop up and pictures were starting to pop up. One picture didn't look too bad. One video didn't look too bad, but there were a couple more that were popping up that looked terrible. So I was like, this could really go either way. That's, that's actually why I'm adding a $50 gift card to Bath & Body Works with this because I feel like no one is gonna want these candle holders as a giveaway prize. No one's going to enter. No one wants an ugly hand. But also they could look cute. I haven't opened the box yet. When I saw it pop up on Amazon, there were a couple different listings for it. I ended up choosing this one for no reason, but it did come with an option to buy two. So my thought was, okay, I'll buy one, maybe keep it for myself, and then I'll buy another one to give away. And then I thought, okay, actually, let me just have two, one for an Instagram giveaway, one for a YouTube giveaway. I don't know why I'm rambling about my thought process. Anyway, I bought the two pack. It came to $20 a piece. Basically, it comes to half the price of the Bath & Body Works version. In this video, I did wanna share the initial listing. Unfortunately, when I click on it, it is gone. The initial listing is gone. So now I'm thinking, Okay, this is gonna be terrible. What I am going to unbox is so terrible, the seller had to completely remove it from their Amazon page. But it gets worse. So then I found another listing for it and I was like, okay, like they're still available just from different sellers. This one actually had okay reviews. It had four out of five with 11 ratings and I'm like, ooh, okay, promising. Except that I clicked on it and this is for completely different products. These reviews are for citronella candles, like the kinds that ward off bugs and mosquitoes. And this review is from August 29th, 2020, which would be well before the candles were launched. What this seller did was they swapped out the images and the product once the reviews were good. 
I'm just not feeling optimistic. I'm going to go ahead and open it because I record directly off of a webcam and the quality isn't great. I will be taking pictures and just plugging them in as I go. I have two that I'm going to open up and I mentioned that it took three weeks to get here. When I finally got them, it was two boxes, but they were just in like a really flimsy bag. Like the boxes came in completely dinged up. You can see if there's like a big, you can see that there's like a huge dent here. It's not, this is just not feeling promising. I haven't opened these. I swear I have not opened them. I just thought we could just, we're all going to do this together, right? The other box has huge dent in it. Um, it actually came with the box kind of open and you can see that it's just, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. You can see it's just like, so smashed up it doesn't look very protected yeah it just doesn't look protected <laughs> that was such a struggle i look so uncomfortable right now i have styrofoam on my eye oh. so this is the hand let me get all this styrofoam off I'm going to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought. You know, it's functional. This is the hand. There's still a lot of styrofoam on it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Here's the thing is like, it's not, I'll show you what I think was terrible. Like, look at this pinky finger. I'm going to take pictures of everything, but can you all see like how this finger, the nail is like bent in, like all of these have claws and then this one is like bent in. It's not good. It's not bad. The other hand, I think, held the single wicks like perfectly, like perfectly in their hands. Look at my short little stubby hands. I think it fit perfectly in there. These hands seem a lot shorter. It seems like a wider grip. I do not have a Bath & Body Works single wick candle. I actually meant to buy one for this and I forgot. I do, however, have this candle, a hella clean candle. This is made by a friend of mine. It's his candle company. These are 7.2 ounces. Yeah, 7.2 ounces. The single wick from, hmm, oh, it smells so good. The single wick from Bath & Body Works, I think is seven ounces. So the diameters might be a little bit different, um, but probably not too much. Like it doesn't even, I mean, it doesn't even look like it's holding it. There's a lot of space. I'm going to post a picture too of like the space, um, oh, the space like where the candle sits. There's like a lot of empty space there. You could probably get a bigger candle to make it look a little bit more like it's holding it. It, it feels like plastic. I don't even know how to like review this. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, here's the thing. If I saw this at Target for five dollars i might buy it like it might I, I i might buy it you know just for like a halloween decor it's definitely not the 40 dollar bath and body works one at all so to me this feels like halloween spirit store overpriced decor or like a target five dollar decor how do i feel how do i feel um i'm gonna go ahead and open up the other one too and see if the nail is like that too like all bent in because maybe that's this one here maybe that's like part of the mold or something let me open up the other one so this one looks pretty much exactly the same i still have a lot of styrofoam on it but you can see that the fingernail is still like totally messed up if you are here from the bath and body works community i i think i would love to get your input if you own these Leave in the comments some of the differences. Obviously, I think some major differences, these are way bigger than the single wick candles. So it's not gonna fit in that snug way that the, the originals did. The fingernails, obviously with that pinky, is it the pinky? Yeah, the pinky being all bent in is a huge miss. They are plastic, they aren't ceramic, which I'm, I'm actually assuming that they're ceramic, right? The original ones were ceramic. As far as like the paint goes, the paint job's not bad. I thought the paint was gonna be really wonky and that it would be chipped, but it's not, it's not terrible. What do you, I mean, I just wanna know, like, what do we think? Do we like these? If I didn't know about the Bath & Body Works ones, if I didn't know the Bath & Body Works ones existed, I might be kind of into these again, for maybe between five and ten dollars i might be kind of into them i'm gonna go ahead and post up right now a picture of the bath and body works version and then like maybe a close-up of these ones that i'll take at some point like knowing that the bath and body works ones were so cute 
so well made comparing it to this this is just like you know it's like that reality versus expectation meme right but again if i didn't know they existed i probably wouldn't mind these all right i'm gonna go ahead and light this baby So here it is in action. Oh, I feel so spooky. I'm so spooky. I'm so Halloween right now. You know what? As I was like setting it there. Okay, like look. It's kind of cute, right? Like just in a backdrop. Like it kind of fits in my background. It's kind of cute. Yes, I kind of like it. I think if I were going to leave an Amazon review, it would be... Knowing that the Bath & Body Works one exists. And that it's perfect and really well made. In comparison, that is like a 2.5 out of 5. If I didn't know about the actual real version, I might give it like a 3.5 out of 5. I'm going to take that back and say 3 only because of the price. If it was 5 to $10, sure, I'll give it the 3.5. So let's talk about the giveaway because that's why you are actually here. First of all, this giveaway, not sponsored at all whatsoever. I only have, I think at this moment, 75 subscribers on YouTube, which means your odds of winning are pretty high right now. <laughs> I also only have like a hundred and something subscribers on Instagram. So there will be a second opportunity to win a $50 gift card as well as one of these hands on Instagram. For your chance to win on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment on this video and let me know. And actually just, just tell me anything. Tell me your favorite part about Halloween, your favorite part about Bath and Body Works, what you're doing today, what you're eating later today, anything. But don't forget to include a way for me to contact you. Let me know if there's an Instagram handle I can send a message to, a Twitter handle, if I can just respond to you uh, under the comments, let me know. Your second opportunity, you can follow me on Instagram. I am at turdgirl1 on Instagram as well. You can follow me on Instagram. I will post a picture of these candles with the giveaway stuff on there. You can just simply leave a comment on there and like the post. The giveaway will end on October 6th. That's it. If any of the winners don't want this and they just want the Bath & Body Works gift card, totally fine. Let me know when I contact you and I can just send you an e-gift card. If you like this type of video, also let me know in the comments because again, it's just not my typical content, but I did enjoy doing this. If you have an item that you would like me to buy so that you don't have to, leave that idea in the comments as well. First of all, it's going to count towards your entry and it just lets me know. It just lets me know. I don't know if I'm entertaining beyond the anti-MLM content, so this helps me. That's going to do it for today's video. I told you it was short. It was sweet. We got through it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all of that.